So Aaron. Yeah. We're gonna call this segment Fish Tales. <laughs> so Okay. What this is is you're gonna tell us your most memorable tournament moment. Oh my god. In the boat together. <laughs> well, <laughs> Lake Ashtabula, as you all know, there's a lot of bullheads in that lake, and in, their, in our boat, we have a tradition, is if you ain't catching nothing, you got to break up the monotony by eating a sandwich, and most of the time it works, and when we're eating a sandwich, we usually catch a fish, so... We had like two or three fish in the boat, something like that. And we needed another one, because it's a tournament. And I said, Jordan, we need a sandwich. Yep, yep. Well, at the time, we had a 16-foot boat. And the cooler is literally like a step away, if that. Why I didn't put my rod in the rod holder, I have no idea. So I just set my rod down, and I turn around, grab the sandwiches, look back, my rod has a fish on it. It's bouncing. I'm like, oh, I got a fish. And all of a sudden, it starts going out of the boat. It starts leapfrogging its way out. So I start running to, to it to catch it, my bait caster rod. And as it's just about ready to go out of the boat, all my momentum's still going, and splash! In the lake I go. It's cold, rainy, miserable day that most people don't even want to be out there fishing, but we have to because it's a tournament. So, as I'm in the water, I still have the sandwiches in my hand. How that happened, I have no idea. Jordan hits the rabbit button. Out of panic, he hits the rabbit button. So I'm trying to swim for the boat, catch the boat, pull myself in. I had to pull my cell phone out of my pocket as fast as I could before, so we can get our, some contact information out of out of it. Luckily, my phone worked just enough to where where we were staying. Um, we can get their numbers. We called them and said, "Hey, I just fell out of the boat. Can you please, you know, bring me a change of clothes?" Yeah, yeah. So they're bringing me some clothes. So Jordan and I head into the way head into the way station. We weigh our fish, whatever we had, and we told them, "Hey, I just fell in the lake. Whatever you know, they're gonna change clothes. Can I change clothes?" Yep, they're all laughing. So I changed my clothes. Now we go out fishing again. Get to another spot. We're fishing away, fishing away. Jordan catches a fish. We go to tag it because it's a tag tournament. We have no tags. I lost the tags when I fell in the water. I went, oh God, Jordan, you're not going to want to hear this. The rule number one is what he told me when we first get in the boat. Do not lose these tags. <laughs> uh-huh. So I lost the tags. So now we got to go in again. So we go in. I walked in there and they're like, now what? I said, well... You know when I fell in the water, I said I lost the tags. And they were gracious enough to give us some more tags. And so now we go all the way back out. Jordan's like, no, nah, let's not go fish that spot. Let's go back and fish that spot where I lost my rod. So we're trolling along, trolling along. Jordan goes, oh, I got a fish. I'm like, Sweet. So I get the net ready. He's like, yeah, it's coming in. He's like, yeah, this is definitely a walleye. I'm like, all right, all right. Get halfway in. He's like, what the heck? It's coming pretty easy now. And he gets, he sees the bottom bouncer and there's no, no fish on the end. And he's, his spinner's spinning just fine, whatever. And I look and I see a hook intertwined with the hook. And I'm like, hey, that's my hook. So I reach down, I grab the line. I grabbed the hook. Once you know 
that he caught my bait caster back, which I greatly appreciate, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still call it my bait caster, but I'll yeah. let you borrow it, I guess. <laughs> so, it's turning out to be a good day, right? So, we catch our couple more fish that we need. We go in, and uh, we weigh our, in our fish. We go to dock the boat. I jump out, no keys. I don't have the keys. They're in my other pants pocket that I took off that I've already gone back. 30 miles, whatever. To where, no, not 30, 30 minutes away or whatever. Yeah, 20 minutes. Back to where we were staying. So now I have to call them again. Say, hey, my keys are in my pants pocket. Can you please bring them back? So now they have to come back again just so we can load up our boat. That, my friend, I can't make that stuff up. That was the most memorable tournament and or day ever, 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 ever.